What's up my loves, it's your girl Foxy here and thanks for tuning in. So I am currently working on a very special project. I am renovating my home and I thought I'd bring you guys along just on the steps and you know just a highlight, just to give you highlights of what I'm doing and then if you want in-depth videos and I can do that. But first I wanted to showcase this beauty behind me, okay? It's not in all its glory because again, it's a work in progress. But again, I wanted just to give you a highlight. Um, so this was originally a bookshelf, okay? They came in three pieces. And so I said to my husband, no, I want a built-in, right? With two shelves on the sides or two um, bookcase units. And then in the middle, I want the mental. And I had the vision in my head, okay? When I tell you, I already had inspo photos of Pinterest. I had the whole thing going. And I said to my husband, oh, actually, we got some quotes in, um, and they were ridiculous. So I said to my husband, I can do this. Like, we won't need to sell our bookcase, and we'll use that. So initially, um, like, as you can see, I have one third of the bookcase here and the other third on the other side. We were going to buy a mantle to go in between with a fireplace already inbuilt. Um, I think we're going to get it from, like, early settlers or somewhere. But I said to my husband... To save us $800, I think I can do it. He said, come on, babe. I said, hold on. I can do this, okay? So I got my brain working. Um, the third part of the, the shelves, I went and flipped it over to its side, cut it to measure, and it fit perfectly across here, and I was busy with the, with the saw um, edit. And then I sort of like figured it out. I had the vision photos and the inspiration photos. And I looked and decided what type of mental I wanted. Um, I am doing molding around the house. So that's a little sneak peek. I'm doing molding around the house. So I had some of this molding left over. Um, and we were initially going to use it in the kitchen for our kitchen cabinets. So I said, oh, how about I use that? And one night I was telling my husband about my vision and I held the boards up and I was holding the wood together and I said, look, this is the type of look I want. And he was like, girl, I don't see it. I don't see what you're talking about. Um, and that was fine with me. I was okay with that. I just said, it's fine. Um, I'll wait for him to go to work and then I'll work on it and then he'll see it. And that's exactly what happened. So I made this bad boy all by myself, okay? <laughs> it is stunning. And, you know, it, it is so beautiful when you see your project or your vision come to life. And then when you think about all the money you say you saved just doing it yourself. Like I had all of this on hand. Like I said, we went, went and bought molding for the house. I already had that. I already had some spare wood. Um, actually what I used at the back here is the shelf that came with, um, that the items are sitting on. So it's really, really awesome guys. Um, so first I glued the bits on, I figured out my design, cut them to measure, um, glued them on and then some parts, some of the wood I used, it wasn't so straight. So some of them actually nailed them in. Um, and that was super easy. Hammer, nail it in. Um, and then I finished it off with three coats of, um, of paint, white paint. Now it's not done yet. I'm yet to purchase an electric heater. Um, so I'll cut off a little cavity for that here and insert it in. I'm in the process of looking for the perfect one. I did find one and that's what I used to sort of measure, use it as a guide to see how wide, you know, to leave the area for the heater in there. I did find one, but then as I read the reviews and reading reviews is so important and leaving reviews is important too if you've already purchased something because it helps people like myself. Um, I realized that the heater was, the, if I were to get the heater and put it on here, it's a Walmart one, um, the heat radiates from the top. And so it would go directly onto here. And I don't want that. So I'm looking for one that obviously projects the heat. And you guys, I'm hoping to get this done by Christmas, okay? Um, just so we can have the whole decor theme in there. You know, have a little garland over here. Um, decorated with beautiful mini Christmas trees, you know, in the color. In the, in the colors we're going for. I just cannot wait. And then, guys, cozy vibes, okay? Because the electric heater that I want to come here, it has the full, it has the full heat um, 
faux fireplace going so it looks super cozy and then hang the kids stockings on there oh i can't wait um i am super super excited for this and guys it was inexpensive it didn't cost me anything obviously i had tools on hand like the glue and all that because like i said i'm working on other projects but um this is just what it looks like so far i can remove it because we are yet to add other um, elements onto this and I'll keep you posted for that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share um, my little project with you guys. And if you have any questions, I always, I really do try to answer every question or every comment. Um, I see you guys giving me love and I truly appreciate that. So stay tuned for more updates. But this is my DIY mental, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Ciao.